Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my Bradford City versus AFC Wimbledon vlog. If you do want to enjoy today's video, please make sure to drop a like on there for me. If you could try and hit 150 likes on today's video, that would be massively appreciated. Subscribe if you're new as well. We're on the road to 8,000 subscribers, so please make sure you are subscribed. If you haven't already, with that post notification bell on, it's free to do so, and it does massively help out. Get your thoughts in as well down in the comment section down below. Let me know down below your thoughts on today's game. It is going to be very tough today day hopefully we catch them on a bad day and we get the win i'm going with a 2-1 win for the bantams our january business wasn't particularly great i wouldn't say we're necessarily stronger wouldn't either say we're particularly weaker either it was pretty much a waste of time if i'm being honest with you but fingers crossed we can get the job done today i'm going with a 2-1 win i'm gonna go with let's go jake young and alex gilead to get the goals today for the bantams but make sure to drop a like on there for me subscribe if you're new as well and i shall see you all once team news is out here we have it then here's how we line up for today's game at home to AFC Wimbledon two changes from Tuesday night's winner Sam Walker comes in in goal for Colin Doyle and also Richie Smallwood comes back into the side with Andy Cook dropping down to the bench we've kind of shoehorned Smallwood back into this team and I don't really know why I'm happy with the defence the midfield looks a bit defensive it looks like 3-4-3 with Gilead on the wing which is a very interesting choice considering we've got another 9,000 wingers at the football club nine defensive players at home is also very interesting but fingers crossed we can get the three points let's get in to kick off. It's not a bad turnout to be fair from the AFC Wimbledon fan. Fair play to those who have travelled. The quality of the pitch, as expected, it's a bit of a mud bath, something you'd see Bradford Bulls play on. Come on, City. The mind games begin. Players swap half, shooting towards the cup in this first half. Oh, 
Yeah, it's a goal run. Well, it's been good today. Yeah, it's like well, that. Free kick for us here, which is right near the edge of the area. Chapman's going to take it. They've only got three men in the wall, though. That's a Chapman's free kick on Tuesday. They're about to move through the Small one's causing some problems here. They're about to move through the line. I'm not really sure what he's doing, but he's, he's causing issues. Here we go. First change of the break at half time. Harry Chapman off, Bobby Poynton on. It must be an injury because it wasn't a planned change or certainly didn't seem that way. So fingers crossed it's a speedy recovery for Chapman. He just can't catch a break from injuries, can he? Wimbledon on this new side. 
Moved into the box. <laughs> Kelly heads away. Yeah. Team back out wide. Five ball in. Good ball. Oh. Kelly's there again. He's been instrumental today. He's been excellent. Kelly's off. Finds Kevin. Oh. Shoe. McDonald. Oh. Oh, that is, it's flying in the top corner, is that the ground just well, sticks dead right in front of it. After a very long break in prayer, another free kick, which didn't even beat the first one from that number 14, who is not very good. Picks up the ball again here. Goes all the way back to that. Free kick for us here then, McDonald's. Free ball in. Hang it up. Oh, for every bit it cleared away. Oh, that, that's definitely been blown early. Yeah. Well, early. Well, well, I think we had about a four minute stoppage then. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe.